You ready? All right, this might look different. We had the door open. It's raining in Southern California. We're gonna try to catch some of that thunder. But, <laughs> don't steal my thunder. We are trying to find all the possible rational zeros. So, we first need the possible rational zeros so that we can go and divide so. What's that? That's lagging divided by leading. What's my lagging? My lagging's 10 and my leading's five. So, my lagging, if I was to break that down, mm -hmm. 10, 10, that's 1 and 10 and 2 and 5. I think I'm all done and stuff. All right, my leading, that's 5, that's 5 and uh, 1. Yeah, all right, so what? It's all the laggins divided by all the leadings. And here we go. It's 1, 2, 5, 10. Divided by five, divided by five, divided by five, divided by five. I take all my laggins, one, two, five, and ten, and I divide it by my leading, five, five, and now that one. All right, so then that's one, that's two, that's five, that's ten. All right, mm, yeah, all right. So now that's over one, over one, over one, over one. So then it's plus and minus, 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 plus and minus. Missed one, uh-huh. And then there's another one. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna divide by those. What is that? Four, eight, 16? <laughs> but hey, that's a lot less than all the numbers in the entire world. All right. Here we go, because we're finding all the possible rational zeros. I'm going to put my coefficients in my synthetic division, because we're looking for those linear factors. So that's a 5, there's a 14, a minus 53, and a 10. Then, ooh, let's see. <laughs> Woo. I could start with one. I should probably start with one. So we start with one. Look, that big negative right there means that this should probably be positive. So that's five. That's five. That's 19. That's 19. That's uh, 40, 30 something. But when it goes there, it's not going to work because I'm looking for a zero right there. If you find a zero right there, tell them I'm looking for them. So then I'm going to go to the next nice one. I'm going to go to the next nice one. Maybe, maybe two, two, two. Ooh. So then, that's a 5, that's a 10, that's a 24. What would Jack Bauer do? That's 48, great, wait, whoa! 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and it's negative, so that's a minus 10, then, ha, 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 0. So what does that mean? That means that, does it look like I choked a Smurf again with that? Um, I made this smaller smaller. Some books call it the depressed equation. Oh my god, it's so depressed. There's really a spider web. Can you see that spider web? New camera, you might be able to. Could be a cobweb. You need to get in the studio more. So what does that say? That says x squared plus 24x minus 4. <laughs> and then that's going to be times that x. That's a 0, so minus 2 is a factor. But I want to find all of them. That one's quadratic. So since I found 1, I can try to factor. The factors of 4 that subtract to be 24. Are you serious? Are you kidding me? Well, those aren't nice, are they? Do they even? That should be a 5. Where do you even come up with these numbers? Because this one goes right there. And then that one should be a 5 also, because then that one goes right there. Because it's 5x squared plus 24 minus 5. Oh, don't try to steal my thunder. All right, here we go. 1, uh-huh, and there. So that's the factors of 25 that subtract to be 24. That's, five. that's 25 and 1. So I need a 5x here. An x there, because the 5, there's the 5, there's the 1. Then the 5 needs to multiply by the 5, so it gets to 25. I'm using the guess and check method. There are many methods of factoring. That makes that one a 1, and why is that a 25? It shouldn't be. Oh, God. This blue marker is going to be all over my hands. You're going to just... 
catch me blue handed. All right. Signs are different. The big product is positive. That one's negative, and it's still all good. But what does that had me do? Well, I found all my possible rational zeros. Then I started with the nice one, started with the next nice one, and then I kept going on. This possible rational zeros, they're the rational ones, the possible ones. There isn't going to be a rational zero that's not on this list. All right. Right on over here. So, what are my zeros? My zeros on that polynomial, that's going to be one-fifth. Why? Because I set it equal to zero, I added one, I divided by five. I'm going to have a minus five there because I set it equal to zero and I subtracted five. And looks like a deuce. Deuces. Whoa, 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 whoa. Check. Were those on there? Yeah, looks like one-fifth was on there. Two-fifths, not it. Oh, one, not it. Um, Two? Two was on there, but we got it via this one. And then five, five, negative, the five negative was on there, sorry about that five. And uh, 10 was not on there. So out of our possibles, we had three that were good. And I guess it wasn't 16 possibles because one was a double. We were trying to get a thunder and we got an aeroplane. <laughs> Boxing, come on, Thunder! Come on, Thunder! Sometimes you can't always get what you want, but if you try sometimes, huh, you get what you need. Oh, yeah.